Hi. Let's talk about sub queries in the SQL Server. This is one of the important uh, concept in the SQL Server. If you see, the sub query can also be called it as a inner query or nested query. So, what are all the prerequisites or what are all the uh, points which we need to know about sub queries? We'll talk about it. First one. So sub queries must be enclosed within the parenthesis. I mean, so we need to use a parenthesis to use a sub queries. Next, a sub query can have only one column in the select class. Only one column in the select class, unless multiple columns in the main query for the sub query to compare its selected columns. Means, so when you are you when you are planning to use sub query columns in the main query, then you can have multiple columns in the sub query. Next. So an order by command cannot be used in the sub query. An order by command cannot be used in the sub query. So although the main query can use a order by. And so the group by command can be used to perform the same function as order by in the sub query. Next, so the sub queries are going to return so more than one row only. So when used with multiple value operators, multiple value operators such as in operator. So the next, so the sub query cannot be immediately enclosed in the set function. Next, so when you are writing the sub queries, it means that the sub query is going to run first, then the outer query is going to run second. And so there is a correlated sub query. The functionality of the correlated sub query is different. So we will talk about that correlated sub query in the next session. So let me show you how to write the sub queries in the SQL server. So to write the sub queries, so let me show you what are all the tables I use it. So here, if you see, I have used a very basic table. So in the my server, the basic table is nothing but an employee table and a department table. So it is very familiar with each and every one. So if you see here, I have an employee table as well as the department table. If you see here, so employee table contains six rows. So my six rows are there in the employee table. So ID is one, two, three, four, five, six, and employee name is like a Tim Christian and all, and the, their salaries and their joining date and their department members. So and the manager ID is there. Let's not talk about manager ID. Next. So if you see in the department, I have five departments. So 10 technical, 20 non-technical, 30 admin, 40 support, 50 testing. So these are the two tables which I am going to use in my sub query example. So here, so there are like I, I can write the sub query in different ways even. So without writing sub query also you can achieve the requirement with the help of the joins. So we will talk about joins in the next session. Now if you see in this my requirement is I want a the department number, I want a department number, comma, department name. So department number, comma, department name from this table, which does not have a employees tied to that particular department. If you see here, I have a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. But if you see the employees in this particular departments, I have employees for only 10, 20, 30 and 40 means 50 department, I don't have any employees in the employee table. So in this scenario, I want to get that 50 department name along with a department name. Means the department which does not have any employees in the company, I want it along with the department number. So how to write that query? So that I am going to achieve with the help of the SQL Server sub queries. Let me write select select DEPT number comma DEPT name from 
dpt table where where dpt number in so what i told is which does not exist in the employee table not in select select dpt number from emp see so let me let me run only this query if you run this query you will be getting the duplicated rows so let me use distinct distinct yeah if you run this if you run this i am getting only the department which does not have any employees in the employee table so here i will be getting only 50 department testing so now the other side if you want if you want the department number and department names which which have the employees in the employee table so that time you need to remove not keyword from the query so let me run this if you run this query then you will be getting the department number and department names which have the employees in the employee table now let's come back to the subquery concept so if you see here as i told you the subqueries you need to put it in the parenthesis only so you cannot uh, keep uh, without parenthesis that subqueries next in this query if you see the execution plan the first the subquery is going to execute so first the subquery is going to execute then these results are going to pass into this main query main query but this subquery is going to be executed in the first then this query is going to execute in the second means my subquery can run independently without having any thing okay in this scenario now let me show you again so not in so it means that the department which does not have any employees in the company let me run let me show you the data again here if you see here 50 department does not have any employees in the table let me run the subquery if you see this you can see the department number only which does not have any employees now so let me show you a second example where where i want the number of employees in each department number of employees in each department with a subquery i am going to achieve this requirement with the subquery select select Uh, like uh, what you said a department number comma count of some id emp let me explain once from emp okay where dept number in select dept number from dept let me run this query yeah so for this we don't need a subquery you can directly run this even that is also fine yeah let me apply a group by Let me apply group by. Okay. So this is how we will get it. Now let me run this. If you see this. So I will be getting. So the list of employees. Within a particular. Department. So for this. We don't need to join with a. We don't need a subquery. Then. So apart from this. So let me identify means for this scenario I don't need a subquery but here I need here I need department name as well. So if you need a department name compulsory you need to use a department table. So in that scenario how to use that. So let me show you that as well select department number comma department name let me write first dept okay 
okay now so along with these two department number department name comma number of employees within each and every department so now i am going to use a sub query select count of count of id emp from emp where dept number equal to let me a put empty space for this time being and i'll keep it from so here i need to pass department number from the department table so that time how to pass so you can use alias name or you can do like this dept dot department number this one okay so this is how you need to pass the department number from the department table the other way use you need to other way is you need to use alias name and so here to display this result so i am planning to put a alias name yes employee count okay so if you run this query if you if you observe this query to understand the first one is department number department name and the number of employees in each and every department so if you see the difference between the this query and this query is here we will be getting extra department name for that reason we will be using sub query but in this query we don't need a sub query let me run this so if you see here department number 10 technical employee count is 2 20 this 30 this 40 this and 50 this so if you see so this is also kind of sub query and it is enclosed within the parenthesis means each and every query every sub query you need to enclose in the parenthesis only now again so for this department number we don't have any alias name it means that so this this column it automatically from comes from this employee table for this column only you need to specify the table name from which it is coming so this is how we write the sub queries in the sql server so in the next video we will talk about correlated sub query that's it thank you for watching